Hello and welcome to my review of Farming Simulator 2022, almost a year late. Uh, the reason being I decided I wasn't ever going to play an, another Farming Simulator game and it came onto Game, pa game Pass. And also someone sent me a message, quite a pleasant one, and uh, you know, suggested that I do a review on it and I thought, oh no, I just, just don't fancy it. So anyway, I took a look and I thought, oh, that's a bit overwhelming. Uh, but I'm glad I did now, because it, it turns out I'm sort of back into Farming Simulator. It, I've always liked them from the very start on the console, and right up to 2017 is when I, I really liked that one as well. And uh, and then when 2019 came along, I was really disappointed in it, and it just looked like more of a cash grab, and it was more of the same. This is very very similar it is it is very similar but they've where they had dropped the ball i think before uh i think they've really picked it up this time some of the 2017 mods have been actually put into this game like the seasons and the the way you can the, the soils treated differently the way that you uh fertilize and the way things grow are more or less the same, but you've got more procedures uh, that you don't have to do if you don't want to. There is ways you can play it just how it used to play in 2017, 2019 or whatever, but I prefer this this new way. And it's also been enhanced with some downloadable content. But I'll just get straight to the options for you, uh, which is what I always like to do. So you've got your look in the field of view, which I've not used yet. I might have a look in game if I remember. Scale of your hood, brightness. I just don't touch that. Realistic beacons off. And just if beacons reflect on surfaces. Oh, I'll put that on and see what happens. But they only come on when the AI puts them on. Uh, if there's something in the way. So you can't switch your own beacons on. Volume master, music, environmental volume. So I've got my master down. Uh that's your that's your basic oh i want to save your daughter now i'll show you the downloadable content is all the mods and there is there's a lot and some of the maps are absolutely brilliant uh westbridge hills is my favorite map and it, it goes back to 2013 and 2015 and i think 2017 oh no 2017 i played on a different map but some of some of them are very very nice and some of the maps support what they call precision farming which i'll come to a little bit later and i'll show you it so there's going to be a little game swapping uh and it's going to be quite a long video so if you're expecting a tiktok 30 seconds you're going to be disappointed or maybe you won't be i don't know Depends what sort of person you are. I don't think people that play farm sim are going to be too interested in just 30 second reviews. They're going to want to know if it's worth investing time in, which I'll come to in a minute. So more more mods, that's ones I've got installed, which you can further refine as you uh, start starting new games. And you've got quite a few new game slots. Uh, these are, I've downloaded quite a lot. There is there is some you have to, got to have some caution with the games you play, but you're only really going to get it by uh, by playing it. That's what it's saying. It's the best stuff. Uh, there's even a motorbike in this if you want to do with that. Uh, I've seen people doing jumps and things like that on them. Tension belt support, that's good if you're going to be doing logging, which I can't stand because I don't think the physics is up to it. But in all honesty, I haven't tried it on this. I will try it. I just haven't got round to it. I've been I've been really busy because <laughs> it's like work, isn't it? That's what we are, the latest ones. It, they do update as well. There is a lot of updates on these mods. Uh, there was a major game update, supposedly about four or five days ago from the making of this video which is 10th of september 2022 uh but i in all honesty haven't found a difference yet even though there's supposed to be a difference so if i go to career now what what you would do 
is you would go, oh, I'm going to start a new career. So I'll go to empty, empty slot at the end. You've got three options. New farmer, farm manager. It tells you there, start from scratch. A real challenge, medium, standard settings for getting started. You don't own any land, blah, 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 blah. This one you already own some land and that. So it's, it's going to be much easier. And the economy is nice and, nice and soft on you, basically. So you just choose a map then. And the maps, I think that Elm, I've played it so much, I'm not sure which is the original maps, but it's not going to matter because you're just going to choose a map that you like. One of the maps, basically, uh, Calmlands, that's quite a nice map. That looks nice as well. I've been on that. It, it did look really nice. And the guys put stars and things like that on the sky. Fox Farms, Goldcrest Valley, 22 Goldcrest Valley put like a paint and effect on these that's a bit of a van gogh there isn't it it looks quite nice no man's land somerset farms another nice map spruce mountains some of them are geared for that's massive by the look of it it's a big american farm it looks really nice westbridge hills my favorite so that's westbridge hills and then you've got westbridge hills 22 which is what i settled on i did play westbridge hills for quite a few hours and I'd, i basically dumped the save because i thought i preferred this one uh, so if I go to my save games that's one that I've played on Calm Lands one and a half hours that's you basically uh, make your own farm off of that one uh, it's really interesting and I will go back to it and I, I will load that game later and show you because it has the precision farming mod enabled on it so I've, that's a cattle one there's only three minutes on it because I went in to see what the map was like. But it's only three minutes when I saved it. I was in it a lot longer looking around. Interesting. Uh, that was an interesting map. But I can't remember what's on it. Westbridge Jill's my current game. It's got 85 hours. Then I've got Westbridge Jill's with 12 hours on. That's the other version of Westbridge Jill's. And then I've got Elm Creek. I've got seven hours on that. That was quite a nice map. Uh, that one I've got a little bit of time on it. More time than it shows there, but I've got a little bit of time on it. And that's Goldcrest Valley. That's a nice map as well, but it's showing only a minute, but I did I did have a good look around on it. I can't remember which one Goldcrest Valley. I don't know if it's a an old map or a new one. I just can't remember. But they all look nice, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So what I'll do is I want to show you something, and it might involve quite a bit of loading, which I will apologise for uh, in the... If I'll, I'll try and cut it out if I remember. What I want to put on is... Westbridge Jill's 22. I'll go through them mods in a minute. I'll just start it. The mods are, are just so important. They're probably the most important aspect I've found so far. And the reason I want to load this game is because I want to show you what I've what I've done in the game that I've spent 82 hours in because I've had, there's been a little bit of a learning curve I've got hundreds and hundreds of hours on on farming simulator over years probably thousands uh and it's it's took some this is this has changed quite a lot and it's a little bit more well it's a lot more complicated and it's a lot more interesting uh the graphics are a little bit different as well but the graphics are always the most important thing in, in these games. And now you've got to bear in mind, I'm testing this on the, uh, or reviewing this on the Xbox Series X. So this is the fastest console and it's got the uh, solid state drive. So it's got the fastest loading times and that just took quite a time and I've not even played it. That's just making a guy. For some reason that's that's very loud so I'll quickly go over to uh, yeah I'm trying to work out where I am now because none, none of this exists anymore you see because <laughs> uh, open gate 
because I've demolished it all. So this is how it looks when you start. This is how it looks when you start, so... I'll just get back here so you can see a bit better. If you have a look around. Now... Now you're turning. That's I'm spinning round as fast as I can here. That this is the only complaints I've got is the maps are a bit frame ratey sometimes. This seems a little bit better than it was before the update, but prior the, to the update it was getting the frame rate was pretty bad. So that's the improvement that I didn't realise it was actually done. But on the other game, this map looks substantially different. Try and remember what that looks like. There's the house there, the wind generator there all the farm buildings a couple of silos there and some more farm buildings and all these trees well the mods just changed this game completely and you can pretty much play and get the map looking how you want pretty quick i remember doing this back in 2015 with the farming simulator then and i'd take all these trees out using the equipment in the game like the trait chainsaw stump grinder and transport them all over to the uh, wood selling area it literally took forever because I just wanted to plough these fields uh, to expand them you know you do you're stealing a bit of land here and there so I wanted to take all these trees out here and the ones out at the other side of the field across there just to expand it really because you've got uh, where is it yeah you've got trees both sides of this field all round the bottom and, and up this side as well and I just wanted to get rid of them so I could plough this the, the grassed areas and just get myself a bit of an extra start and it just took forever now you can just buy some in the thing and uh, delete the trees like a tractor or some logging equipment well you don't even have to buy it you can hire it and just use it and knock out the trees that you don't want anywhere yeah there's a little bit of frame rate there now we're in these buildings I don't know if you can you see frame rate and this sort of like lack of frame rate is notoriously difficult to see or to detect on a recording because I don't think it's that I don't think the recording's that uh, accurate if you know what I mean the Xbox recording that's that is better than it was though it, it was really really noticeable that was quite smooth then comparatively but it did do a little bit I think they've improved that so I'll go back, uh, quit this game. Oh, it's got the extra data. That's interesting. Didn't know you could have that on this. I didn't know you could have that extra data on Westbridge Hills. Otherwise, I'd have already enabled it. But I'll I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so if I go back to my career and I'll go straight to my map or my game that I've got 85, 86 hours on now. Uh, now this is this is where you can filter your mods that you download and you can just go through them. So I've not used Field Creator yet. There's that Devour Trees, that's a good mod. Uh, some of the other things automatically load things onto a trailer for you that fermenting silo pack is brilliant i've used that uh, some of the other things like the heads and that for the combines multi-grain fruit silos you can put anything in them you can put bricks and uh, the rocks out of the fields in them liftable bales packs that's a, that's a real good one and there's a liftable pallets pack and that's liftable pallets and big bags so you don't need forklift trucks all the time it's a, it's a massive massive saving and this thing here this TARDIS XL I mean it has an unrealistic load limit it's a uh, forage harvester and but it just makes the game better because it's not as realistic, but it just makes your life easier, basically. 
you can even buy stuff you know you can this is stuff you can build and you can buy the thing that the stuff out of it yourself so if you're short something for manufacturing because there's manufacturing in this the whole the whole game's changed and it's so much more interesting root crop storage there's none on this map so i downloaded it uh, and that's very usable very good for it. potatoes and beets that silos multi fruit that was another essential one the water the water bowser that was a good one that tipper that's that's a brilliant one that's the lizard one i want i'll show you in the game that's the map so that's obviously the the map's downloadable content as well tree be gone that's another one you can just delete the trees uh wind turbines things like that so that's just showing you the mods which i've got in this map now remember i've got the fastest xbox <laughs> that you can get and it's the loading times a bit of an ouch but it's one of them games uh i've not had it crash yet not i remember i've had a couple of loading issues but i think because it's game pass possibly where it just won't load and then I just loaded another game pass game and went back to this one and then it worked uh, so I don't know what that was all about but it's been very stable very stable there's not been any really major problems that I remember but then again the game has been out a while so now this is the this is how I've got the now I remember what it were like all trees and that it's, it's autumn as well you've got the seasons so the trees change so I've changed it into a bit of an industrial wasteland here. All these black things, they're, they're the weeds that I've already killed. Yeah, a little bit of frame rate there. I don't know if you could detect it there, just as it's getting to where, where the blue silo is. Yeah. So that's down to the stuff that I've built, isn't it? And I'll tell you what I think's a bit of a... a bit of a hog, is these these trees are planted just to test it i've not i've not uh chopped any down yet but they, they seem to be affecting the frame rate I don't, can you see i don't know if you can see but it's the frame rate is choppy and that turn is very very slow when i go that way it's lovely and smooth and when i go that way that the weather's nice the clouds move nice when you speed it up, you'll you'll see what I mean. I'll just go to the options. Uh, must be this one. Three hundred and sixty times. It's October, so the sun's quite low as well. That's realistic. And now we're getting the the rain coming down. Don't know how long it's going to rain for. I hope I don't remember. I hope I remember not to save this before I leave. The sunsets, the lighting, it's just nice. The sun, the sun rises. It always looks like the time of day that it's supposed to be. It's very, very nice. Uh, the way they've got the the graphics. Uh, wait, I'll just turn that back now. We had a bit of a thunderstorm going on there. I'll have a little drive about. This is the. Mass, it's, it's unrealistic it's got 250,000 litres in of silage so I'm making silage with this and this and what I've done is I've used this oh, I've got to get around to it because I've got quite a lot of vehicles this TARDIS XL takes up uh, I think it's 200,000 litres so it's it's called the TARDIS for a reason. It's even it's even like the uh, blood police box, isn't it? <laughs> I thought it's quite amusing. So I'll just drop the pickup. This is what I've been doing. Quite a lot of. And there's a little bit of a cheat that I think I've been. Well, I'm not sure it's a cheat. I mean, you could do it in real life, I suppose. It's just, it's just. It's just that I, I'll just quickly show you what you do. It's 
it's not really cheating, but it's not really all above board, I don't think, because it's a, it's a bit of an abusive system. If you press the the right thing to select, you can then buy a field. So what you can do is wait till, say, this field is ready to harvest, buy it, harvest it, and then sell it. And then you've got the whatever gets harvested off the field, you've essentially got it for no preparation work, no buying seeds, no time other than just harvesting it. And uh, that's what I've done quite a lot of. But I did it because I wanted to I wanted to get on. You know, I'm 82 hours into this. Oh, sorry, I'm 85 hours into this. And I've only just got to a position where I think it's actually that I've done enough that I can give it a really good, fair review. Uh, I tried planting cotton in that. I hated it. That, that field there, field number 11, absolutely hated the cotton. So, I'm just showing you really quickly what, I, what I've been doing. So I'll turn that forage wagon off and now I can go dump the grass or chaff or hay. I think straw as well. I'm not sure if it, I can't remember if you can put straw in these. I can dump it into this one. So it's saying start overloading grass into that one. I can do it in the silver one and I can do it into that red one and I can do it into the one with the checker top at the end which is like uh, it is something that I've built on the map these these silos here with the red writing on I don't know if you can see them they're the ones that uh, were the original ones all the other ones I've built so so that's loaded into that so if I go to the my industries or productions I can go right down to the bottom to my manufacture uh, to my production of chaff or silage rather so that's large large silo one it's got 92,000 silages in it S silo two it's got 407,000 in it and that one's got 508,000 they do a different rate you see that does 600 cycles a month that does 480,000 cycles a month that's 600,000 yeah and that one does 2,400 oh no 240,000 rather uh, cycles each cycle pr produces from what you've got in there so I've got 183 grasses and some hairs that one's got 2 million grasses in and that's got 3 million grasses in but what it does do is it shares from that they, them two share from that red one because I think it's to do with the proximity of them so I've got this Mack truck now I really like this it's a really nice I think it's a mod and it's really really nice just really nice but like I said that's got a very unrealistic trailer in it it's uh, it looks real but it's got 250,000 litres in it which it's not going to happen is it not in, not in some of that size now there I planted some olives they were a disaster I hated doing that and I've got some beehives here they help with the whatever crop you've got within a certain range of it so the range is 150 meters so anything within 150 meters of this beehive is going to get a, a bonus and it's telling you what the field is that's uh that's near it by the look of it oh no it's because i'm is it because i'm in that field yeah it must be because it's like counting that now as on the field because it's been plowed there interesting I love the lighting look at that there it, it just looks real and and the other thing that I like oh there's a bit of, a bit of frame rate then wasn't there is when you I guess what that's quiet 
when you when you're driving the the tree if you look at the trees it might if you watch on a phone you won't see it but they look like oil paintings and then when you get closer you can see it's like popping but it's fairly pleasant popping you get the detail of it so it's it's standard uh farm sim graphics around you you've got an area of uh detail and then when you look further you can see if you can you might just be able to see some tire tracks starting within the field down there I'll, I'll go drive down it and drive back and then you might see what i mean so if i drive down to the bottom of this field and i'll drive in a I'll drive a couple of circles in it. I've got crop destruction, but it doesn't count for other people's fields. It only counts for your own, and it doesn't count if the AI is driving. Only if you're driving. Which is, makes sense, because the AI would be just destroying the crop when you watch it manoeuvre. So I've done a couple of circles there. If, if I turn the camera back, as we go up here, you should see... The circles and if I go the other way you'll probably see it better but it's just see the details coming towards us all the time now in this game they do leave a lot of tracks there's tracks all over places just miles of them but what affects it is when you've got if you've got straw down and see the you can see clearly see them circles now on that hill as the deep little bubbler detail just defaults to a lesser uh, a lesser sort of layer of detail even though it's you've got quite a lot of popping you can you can see it it's unrealistic in that respect uh, it still looks nice now you can see I've, I've I've taken a lot of trees out compared to see these these ones that have been planted here see them they're going from what looks like oil paint is now you're getting more and more detail to them as you get closer so the draw distance and the frame rate is is an issue even on the most powerful console uh, looks like it's designed for a pretty powerful PC to me but even then the draw distance is for the detailed texturing is it's a bit disappointing honestly I expected more but graphics in everything the gameplay if you like flying farm simulator it's just brilliant there's just so much to do and i haven't even got showing you uh that yet so i've been i've been basically if you look at this field it looks different than the others next to it i'll go down to this field it's a better illustration where there's there's grass when you drive over these weeds it destroys them when they've been killed uh when they've been uh weed colored and that's permanent you see th there is a lot going on i've got I'd, i've got millions of grasses uh there's probably there's probably the best part of there's probably point i don't know three quarters of a million grasses just on this field now these these lines are all grasses aren't they so the game's going to count them saying oh there's going to be like fifty thousand in each row or whatever that all that all counts you know that that memory's got to be used somewhere and that processing power's got to be somewhere so i think that's where some of it's going because there's an awful lot of stuff your bail limit uh, if i go to stats I, I made all the bales at once and the bail limit's actually interesting it's over 200 uh where is it it's on some stats isn't it where are they oh there they are yeah if you look on the, I can't highlight it, but if you look on the right under statistics, it's seed uses, fertiliser, bales produced, 230. Well, at least 215 of them bales, or at least 210 of them bales, I would say, were all made together before the game basically said, no, you can't make any more bales until you sell them. So it wouldn't allow me to make any more bales. But what used to happen in previous farming simulator games were, you just keep making bale after bale after bale and when you went back to where you'd stacked them all there was some missing <laughs> defying defying gravity you know just floating in the air so now the game tells you if you've made enough bales and it's over 200 
before you have to start selling them and the game will not allow you to make any more bales of any type before it before it tells you that this is an interesting this is a mod on this little trailer here. it's called an auto loading somewhat rather i can't remember what it is but it's just an auto loading mod and you drive up to these things which i'll come to in a minute this is bread so i put it grinds flour and then makes your bread now it's making a liar out of me oh yeah look see it's loading it's loading from there now the other thing is the is the mod that i've got fitted or that i've got fitted that i've got loaded whereby you can pick these things up and then i can pick them up and put them down go near this and it just auto loads it you can manipulate them quite quite easily so that if you want to move them just temporary you can just move them about so there's no messing about with a with a forklift truck or whatever you can just you can just move stuff it just makes life so much easier because you'd have to come round here with a forklift truck and you'd have to do each one of these individually well some people might like doing that but I'm not one of them and if you like doing it that's fine then you, you, you could do it that way because you can get a, you can get a forklift in these and there is forklifts and there's even modded forklifts ones that'll give you more reach or whatever or that are just nicer or look nicer or what you know fill in the blank all these things now these are this is oil production so this is that's canola oil so obviously that's the rapeseed isn't it it's canola oil so you can do canola oil sunflower oil olive oil which is why i had the olive trees uh and i hated doing the olives and you, you get good money for the oil but the the way you do it is just not my cup of tea i just didn't like it hey i can't do it uh, so you have to do everything yourself the other disappointment is that you can only have six AIs at a time uh, which I don't really think is that good you can send hang on I've got to go to map to do it I don't do it much but there's there is like problems like there always is the pathfinder is not good you can literally send stuff anywhere you want on map and it's, i've done it so sent seldom i can't remember how to do it <laughs> yeah, oh you can reset it or just a tip if you want to reset your vehicle there's there's a couple of reasons to do that as well one is if you get it stuck or maybe you don't want to drive it back but if you reset your vehicle it ends up on this map back at the uh at the vehicle uh, selling place which is there uh, the other the other reason to do it is when you if you're going through your vehicles like you've got say you've got three harvesters but you want it to go because you wanted a truck there so you'd want it you'd want to go harvester and then you press right and then you want your truck and then I go left back to the harvesters. So I'd want to go harvester, truck, and then on my next right, I'd want another harvester. And my next right, I'd want another truck, but I've only got one truck. But that's how I'd set it up. So how you would set that up is you would reset, you would reset the harvester back to wherever the reset point is on whatever map you're on. And then you would reset the truck and then you would reset the, the other harvester and then the other truck and then another harvester then another truck and then you'd have you'd have harvester truck harvester truck harvester truck which is very handy when you you've got three different fields around the map uh and you're harvesting them all simultaneously that's that's what i used to do all the time so i've got mine also so it goes tractor 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 harvester or whatever so you, the resetting is very handy for reordering the vehicle the vehicle order basically for how you select them 
which is something that where, as you're getting it in the game you'll you'll think to yourself oh i'm sick of pressing i'm sick of pressing this 10 times to get back to that you know you'd know where you had after playing and it just makes it just makes life so much easier so what was a way to do it you need to be on the actual proper map not the vehicle thing the proper map and then select it with r oh not r sorry my mistake the right stick click down it tells you at the bottom of the screen there in the help and then just press that to reset i'm not going to reset it because i want it to i want it to stay in the order that it is but that's a that's a good little tip uh I was showing you the field textures before I got sidetracked by that. Now I can't remember where it oh, yeah, I was here. Yeah. So this is just grass. So I bought this field just for grass and I've got it. You've got, you have to fertilize it. You've got to add lime and all them things. This is a, this is the rolled area. Now we use grass rollers and that changes uh, this is a grass roller so if if we look at the field info it says it's harvested fertilized 50 percent where it's grass right because i've just cut the grass and i've forage harvested it off now that's just gone up to 100 percent because i've rolled it so rolling it is like adding fertilizer it explains this there is some there is some in-game help which is it's pretty informative when i can find it there it is making money spending money arable farming cultivating plowing it's it's just all there for you fertilizing but there's loads of stuff on youtube absolutely loads but basically now you've just got more stuff to do but you can switch the game so that you don't have to do it uh, it's just a matter of finding it input controls camera measuring units oh I, I always turn the traffic off as well the traffic the civilian traffic because it's just I just can't be bothered with it you can rename your game there uh, time scale real time economic difficulty easy traffic off seasonal growth yes days per month one day fixed visual month off that's one of them things that's strange isn't it fixed visual month off it's just i don't know it might be me they sometimes do that they put a double negative and you don't know if it's off or on crop destruction periodic plowing required required field stone lime required so all these are different so you can, you can turn weeds off lime off stone off pl pr uh, get your teeth in periodic plowing you can turn all that stuff off uh just checking my time because i'm going along on this one 39 minutes already yeah so much to show see i'm really looking forward to playing the game you see which is that's the whole point of these things so i'll just go to the map show you the field states crop types for some reason it always turns the grass off i don't know why it does that so you just oh, press wrong button yeah still you think wouldn't you i think the buttons are a bit intuitive you got the the shoulder buttons go up and down on that menu to me that's just don't feel right but never mind and then you go to your left stick to go from growth soil composition now it even shows stones I'll turn stones on and off and you'll see what happens stones back on so on this field where we've rolled it you can see there's two sets there's two states of fertilizer now you've got this light blue and you've got the darker blue the darker blue is the one you want because that means it's fertilizing you're getting bonuses that one's being mulched and the mulching thing is i've got to get to it for you that's the grass roller that's gonna like it's like fertilizing field you can also fertilize it with fertilizer but then it only counts as one 
this is the Mulcher. What this does, this is a mod and it goes very fast. <laughs> so it saves you a lot of time. And it's AI obviously that's doing this, but it's doing 22 mile an hour. That's, I've never seen anything run on AI that fast before. But you can send these tractors around the map using the uh, using this interface if you want to. Uh, I just I don't like doing it because the AI is a bit a bit iffy on it. <laughs> but you can do it. I oh, press wrong thing there. That's, I can't remember how to do it. I'll be honest with you. Oh yeah, cancel job there. Yeah, it's saying active workers, field work working in a field. So if I, yeah, I can create a job on this or set a destination. So I can, I can pick a target location. I'll just send it uh, there. Oh, you have to right stick click. And now right stick click again to send it. And now we can see on the map it's moving. I'll select it. Yeah, that's just moved. It's, that's just moved over to the field where I sent it, basically. Uh, and it, it will do it, but it's, it's trying to follow a road here. But I I ploughed the road up, but it'll still follow it. Uh, but that's how the AI works. If, if there's something in the way, it won't go around it. Someone got stuck on one of the other maps we're playing on. But I'm very happy with this. Uh, I've bought a lot of production things like that big oil mill there, all these other things, this silo here. So the only thing that's originally on this map is is these silos here. This, these like corrugated steel ones. A little bit of frame rate there. Look at the lighting. It's just I like that. So I bought this mill. It's making oil from sunflower and canola. This is a field that I, a field full of <laughs> a field full of beetroot that I, that I stole and then sold the field back. Uh, this is producing. This is for the sh sugar beet that I've made into sugar, which is selling itself. Uh, so when you go to your, when I go to my finances, you can see. Let's have a look. Biogas wage payment miscellaneous sold products twenty two thousand today so far, but it's gone up to one hundred seventy four thousand in some days. And then you can see where I've been buying and selling because it says property incomes nine million things like that. I think I can't remember what that was. Oh, I might have put a government subsidy up or something like that. Just see how it went. Uh, so it's always handy to have money when you're testing in it. And the other thing you've got to be wary about on the modded maps is this thing's making basically tomato sauce, but there's nowhere to nowhere to sell it. So it tells you that you can sell it at Ravenport, but the trains don't work on this map, which is not the fault of giants. It's whoever's modded the map, but for me it's not a biggie. Uh, the other thing is as well, I've had to, I've had to. I've had to place this a selling point because this map doesn't have everything that you can make with the mods you'll understand when you play that with the mods you can make different things I'll just really quickly show you because I'm running out of time I don't want it to run too long is you get different you can make cheese fabric clothes sugar cereals that's quite a production line of cereals and there's chocolate blanks furniture uh donuts barrels premium potatoes starch french fries that's chips in it if you're british crisps in this country are what the americans call chips and french fries are what the american or what the americans call chips aren't they so you've got all these different things and you can't actually sell them here ravenport or tatty shop so and you can't none of them are actually saleable here you just can't do it. Look, the sun's going down. I just like that. It just looks so nice. But I'm going to leave this game and just show you the other one because I'm I'm just so impressed by it. I want to show you it. And I'm really pleased that they've done such a good job on this. 
and I've been playing this for a long time now and I think the buttons are very unintuitive for, for, the, for the menus very unintuitive should I say I'll go to my save game maker on farm calm land here one hour 30 I'll load this for you now I've got these mods on it and one of the mods I've got so you've got the map calm lands and all the other stuff the field creator all that fermenting things but there's an important one somewhere uh, I want to the liftable bales there so good I don't know if I've I don't know where it's going to show up oh precision farming yeah that precision farming that's a total game changer by the look of it I've not properly got into it yet but I'm looking forward to giving it a really good go on this and seeing how it enhances the game oh you've also got the different you've got the different seasons haven't you I forgot and so the trees and that change colour you saw that on that map it was autumn it was October and then the leaves come off the trees and the leaves skeletons behind you don't get piles of leaves but it, it just looks really nice the draw distance is a little bit to be desired now this one's loaded already so this is it's just a really nice little map but you have to do everything yourself so I've, I've had a little bit of a start on this map but the ain't that pretty little puppies so if, if I spin this one there's no real frame rate frame rate things going on so I think it's down to the buildings them trees the, the trees that you grow yourself definitely made a difference in that last map and it doesn't matter if it's an original map or a, a downloadable map it's it's all the same so this map there's no fields on it you have to make everything yourself so I'll be plowing plowing that but what I have been doing before I do any plowing to see where I'm going to have the fields is I've gone to uh, I've done some surveying and you can see there's an environmental score comes up there so now we've got different soil types so I'll zoom in on this because I've surveyed this field and I've surveyed this area but it's not showing up yet because I've not made them into fields so how you've got to do it is you make the fields then survey it and I'll so you've got pH value nitrogen yield what you expect off it right up to 120 so you go from half yield to 125 percent i know you can't have that but it means you're going to make a quarter more than what you would have done if you hadn't gone to all the trouble uh, seed rate standard low and high soil types so you've got just you've got different tabs here that's on top of the uh that's on top of this one you know your usual one that you've got the growth the soil composition hot spots crop types crop types to growth so I'll come back to soil composition so that's just added a whole new layer my environmental scores uh 42 at the moment so i have hired a soil sampler and what you do is basically you just drive it you could you could attach that to any tractor i reckon by the way i just did it for this one you've got a little circle on your map there uh take soil sample and now send the soil sample and a little a little while you get a charge comes up i can't remember i think it's like 50 dollars there you go and it says soil analyzed so we'll have to go back to this map now and that there it's just analyzed that part in the middle and what it's looking like is the ph is at middle there in it it's at like six by the look of it the nitrogen it's very low so the yield the yield's not going to be up to much so it needs the soil needs work and then when you get out it's it's got the normal field in for weed growing harvested on by you know, what it was it, that'll give you whether it needs fertilizing lime or anything else and but now we've got precision farming i did underneath it and it's telling it's got silty clay uh 
pH value is bad. Nitrogen's non-existent, so we've that last crop spent the nitrogen on it. Uh, so then you're going to find out how to fix it. And I'm really looking forward to playing this because I'm going to build and see what I can just come up with. And I'm really looking forward to it. So all in all, I think it's fantastic. The only improvements I would like to see, I'd like to actually be able to dig holes, do some, have the, have the moisture level of the fields, and I'd like the soil to have its own physics like real world physics like that uh, return to dust what was it that xbox game gone to dust or something you you played like this god and you could do things like raise volcanoes and then it just had particle physics or some sort of physics for the soil i'd love to see that in this uh i'm, I'm sure they could do it but i'm, I'm not sure on uh and the sort of power requirements that you're going to need for your machine. I'm up to 51 minutes and I, I still got other stuff to blab about, but yeah. I'd, I'd actually buy this game now. I wouldn't have bought it before, but it's on Game Pass, which is a boost, a bonus. But if you're in two minds where they're going, you like Farming Simulator, I'd, I'd say that they've done a good job on this and the mods just make it pretty special I really enjoyed playing it I've got 82 hours on that map and uh, I'll definitely it's, it's a game I'll just keep coming back to and this, you could just play it any way you want as well you could play it how you played Farming Simulator 15 if you want and Farming Simulator 17 uh, I didn't play 19 very much I know that they Eventually they made it better with the mods, but when it came out, I just thought it was a disaster. I hated it, and I didn't, didn't want to play it anymore. I just thought they'd been lazy. It was very expensive for what it was. It, it was no more than an update. In fact, from Farming Simulator, 7, Farming Simulator 17 with the mods that it had, and the uh, Seasons mod, which made a, a big difference to how you played that game, Farming Simulator 19 with just an expensive downgrade and the graphics weren't any better they weren't anything to recommend it for I gave it a review and I, I gave it a bit of a slate and I got quite a few views on it and I I reviewed it as I saw it this one I'm a year late with it so I'm not sure what it would have been like at the at the in, in, at the incept of the game or when it, when it came out because I just wasn't prepared to pay any money to Giants for, for playing it. Uh, I'd buy this now, as it is. I don't need to because I've got Game Pass. It's, it's brilliant, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Still enjoying it, and I'll, I'll, I'll play it for a while. So I would highly recommend this one. It's nice to actually say that. I'd like there to be improvements, of course. I think that they've put a cap on how fast you spin because I think they've got a frame rate issue. So when you're out, that, that that's maximum turn and there's nothing you can do about that. And it just feels really sluggish. You know, because we used to twitch first person shooters, aren't we? But even World the Tanks turns faster than this. <laughs> you know, and that's simulating uh, some quite big vehicles in that sometimes. You know, that are actually quite slow with the way they move. This feels like the heaviest of heavy tanks. With the way it moves, it's just it's just how it is. But I'm enjoying it and um, I'm still playing it and there's still quite a lot to still quite a lot to do. It's a nice open ended game and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Thanks for watching.